Hey everybody, and welcome to Masterpiece Theater. Today we're taking a look at something we usually don't do. Um, I don't usually review the uh, repaints of figures, but this one um, was kind of cool, and it was a mold that I was really enjoyed. So today we're taking a look at uh, the Masterpiece uh, Hot Rod. This is, uh, what's the number? MP40, so he even got his own name. Um, basically, this figure is based on a animation error uh well that's what most people say but it's the way hot rod looked in the rebirth when he uh became a target master um it's, uh, it's other than that it's a straight re it's the same mold as the original hot rod the only difference is it comes with the firebolt target master that originally came with mp09 you'll hear me mention that quite a bit during the review um but yeah, I mean, really, that's about it. I always do appreciate you guys uh, checking things out. So um, that's it for me. Uh, let's take a look at what's in the box. Okay, so what's in the box? Not a lot. Um, you have the instructions, the uh, collector's card, a repaint of one of Hot Rod's original blasters. Uh, unfortunately, this is the mold that I am not a big fan of. Uh, I wish they included the other one, but you know what it is. And we have the Firebolt uh, Target Master. We're going to get to that in a little bit, but basically that's it. Uh, besides the figure, of course. Um, there's no saw blade, no fishing rod, and like I just mentioned, you don't have that second blaster. So, um... I guess maybe the, the amount of plastic and Firebolt equals the amount of plastic in those other accessories. Um, but then again, you know, this is a little bit cheaper than that first release of Hot Rod. But we're going to pause real quick and take a look closer look at the, the Target Master Firebolt. Okay, and this is Firebolt, uh, the Target Master. Uh, this is a re-release with, I think, a slight retool in the grip of the um, Target Master that came with the Hasbro release of NP09. If you remember, that figure just included uh, the main Hot Rod, Rodimus Prime figure, the weapons, the extra accessories. They took out the trailer, which basically neutered um, any type of Rodimus Prime vehicle mode, but they included the Target Master. I don't know if there was that change in plastic, but fortunately I don't have that version of the mold. Uh, I was just so sour on MP09, I didn't want to touch it, to be honest. I, the only time I saw it in a store was when a couple of uh, shady-looking guys were basically picking up and buying every single one that my Toys R Us had on the shelf. Um, these, unfortunately, go for a lot of money on the secondary market, at least more money than I think they're worth. I think it's people trying to make back whatever they spent on that Hasbro version of a Masterpiece Hot Rod. Um... But, uh, so yeah, so it's a really cool looking figure, the very close to the animation design. You have a swivel in the head, which I think is really cool. Uh, you do have ball joints here in the shoulders, as well as a universal joint, so you do get a lot of movement. Double jointed elbows, which is always nice to see on a figure this size. Uh, ball jointed hips, ball jointed knees, a lot of that's for transformation, uh, which we should start with uh, right now. So make sure you return your figure to a neutral position. Um, go ahead flip the barrels down like so you want to bring them 90 degrees to the body next what you want to do is um, fold the upper torso down it's on this ab joint right here so you want to bring it forward just like that uh, next what you want to do is rotate the knees inward so these uh, ridged areas are facing together uh, just like that and then what you can go ahead and do, uh, the instructions were a little confusing, but basically what you want to do is just go ahead and bring the knees up like that. Um, and basically we're going, to, we're going to get to the real only locking position on the figure, and that's when you uh, swing the legs in and they will peg into place. Uh, you, there is a little ridge that you want to get them over and Right there where my finger is, there is that little notch that they use, those little tabs you want to fit in. But that's about it in terms of uh, locking. Next, what you can go ahead and do is flip out uh, this 
section here, and that will rotate the head down. It will go between the legs. Um, and then we come in and work on the arms. So uh, bring them out straight to the side like that. Uh, I will tell you now, things will get a little loose and finicky. That's just uh, how it is. Next, what you want to do is rotate the arms up like so, so that you can see the armpit joint just right there, that little joint. Uh, and then go ahead and bring them up. So uh, back like that around that peg. And then uh, go ahead and fold the arms up uh, on those uh, double joints. Make sure you got everything there. And then uh, come around, straighten some things out, give it a little squeeze. And there you have a uh, Firebolt in its weapons mode, very close to what the original uh, Hot Rod uh, Target Master was. I would have liked a few more locking points, maybe something to secure the arms in and secure this section a little bit more, but it is what it is. So you can, of course, attach Firebolt to uh, the Target Master Hot Rod figure. You want to open up the engine cover. Um, as you did before. Now the instructions show you opening up the legs and I really don't understand how that's supposed to help since the legs are here but the peg is right there. So really what you want to do is just grab your uh, hot rod figure, support the, remember the engine is attached to the head underneath so just support it there and it should just peg in fine just like that. Um, of course hot rod can hold the figure in robot mode uh, which we'll get to in a little bit, but right now, since I've already brought in uh, the Target Master Hot Rod, let's take a look at um, how it compares to the original version of the mold. Okay, so here they are. Um, obviously, we have the new Target Master Hot Rod on the right and the Hasbro version on the left. Um, as you've probably heard, the Target Master version is based on the color scheme that Hot Rod had in the Rebirth um, uh, mini series that ended the G1 cartoon in the United States. Um, that is also why this gun is colored this way, surprisingly. I, you know, little details I don't remember, but, uh, sort of in a way it was supposed to be an animation error. That's what a lot of people say. Um, but as you can see, there are some striking differences. On the original hot rod here, um, you have a lighter orange color with a darker yellowish orange flame. On the new Target Master version, um, the orange is a little bit lighter. That flame is a little bit more of a brighter yellow. And as you can see, there's a different size to the um, Autobot symbols. Um, the engines here on the inside, um, they are still chrome. Um, the the Target Master version, that little spot where you pl plug the weapons in, that's more of a metallic purple, uh, like a very shiny chrome. Other than that, you see that you have that maroon, darker maroon color than the red. And then uh, for the fins, right there in the middle on the original Hot Rod, you have that uh, um, orange midsection, while here on the new uh, Target Master release, it's all yellow. But on the back, underneath the fins, that's completely bare. That does have a little bit of that um, darker orange, yellowish color from the front. So, um, yeah, the, 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 um, there is some striking differences between uh, the two vehicle modes. Now, let's take a look at robot mode. Um, I did go over the transformation when I reviewed the original hot rod figure so we're going to skip over that so it will be a couple seconds for you it will be actually quite a few minutes for me as i transform both versions of these figures so we're going to go from this okay so here's a hot rod in robot mode uh just a few words on the transformation i mean as you saw in my previous video it's actually not that difficult um you know if you, there were things you liked they're still there if there are things you didn't like they're still there as well. I just noticed that these collar pieces here uh, don't peg in as well as they did on the original. Um, that could just because of the repaint, the different positioning of the paint, and it's 
shouldn't be indicative of all the runs of this and it's just mine maybe as i play with it more things will loosen up but yeah as you can see now that we have the figure in robot mode the legs are revealed um, we do have this darker almost greenish gray here on the legs as opposed to this uh, gunmetal gray and we do have that swath of lavender paint swath you like that uh, <laughs> right down the front going from the kneecap down to the uh, foot tip or boot tip it's actually kind of weird are they feet or boots i mean like like, I guess that's their foot, but it just looks like a boot, but eh, whatever. And of course, on the crotch piece here, you do have a little bit of white um, detailing that's not present on the original version of Hot Rod. Um, and also, the leg pieces are uh, on the Target Master version. They're a lighter shade of yellowish orange, where on Hot Rod, they're a little bit darker, more of a, like that, uh, like when you light a match that orangey flame color um other than that the forearm bits here uh, it's again the same different shades that match up on the chest um one thing i've noticed is that the intakes on the shoulders as you can see on the original version of hot rod they are that um sort of like a very almost lavenderish gray on here they're not painted at all and if we turn the figures around um Really, there's no difference whatsoever. I mean, this is still parts from the vehicle that we saw. Um, but you can see there on the Target Master version of Hot Rod, and when it comes to the head, that there is a little bit of a uh, more metallic lavender paint, not the same that's on the boots that's not there on the original Hot Rod. And in terms of detailing to the face, yes, you can see that... Uh, there is that lavender going across the front that's not there on the original version of Hot Rod and all of that. So yeah, basically that's about it for the colors of the figures. Uh, so we'll take a final look at the new Target Master Hot Rod since really that's what this review is all about. And uh, then I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, just a few more notes about the figure. Number one, obviously all the gimmicks still work. He still has the uh, flip-down goggles, but in this case they're clear. Um, now, getting the Target Master into the hand, I do want to point out that, as you can see, to have it sit properly, you're going to angle the fist a little, and it does want to lean forward due to a um, the ridge there from uh, the peg that connects but it does hold it fairly straight i know that was a concern there was a lot of concerns uh about using this uh, some people initially tried using that original version of firebolt that came with the hasbro mp09 and said it didn't fit right so whatever adjustments takara made uh do work a little bit better so we'll pause now and i'll give you my final thoughts Okay, and in a nutshell, that was Masterpiece 40 Target Master Hot Rod. Um, I got the figure from Amazon Japan. Um, I was very lucky to be able to do that as, um, you know, um, they did open up international uh, shipping again on Transformers, and it ends up being a lot cheaper and a lot faster than getting it from places like a Big Bad Toy Store. Um... The big question, I guess, is can I recommend this over the original, uh, what is it, MP28, I'm just looking over at the box, MP28 Hot Rod, and that's really a tough question because this doesn't come with the accessories that hot, that version of Hot Rod did. That one was really more on the uh, Transformers, the movie design, so we had the saw blade, the fishing um, pole. But a lot of those accessories are very indicative and associated with Hot Rod. Um, you know, people tend to remember him for those using those and being part of that. And you had those double blasters. I mean, the Rebirth was the end of the Transformers series in the U.S. So that was really the last thing you saw of Hot Rod as a Target Master that, you know, not a lot of people remember. Um, personally... I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I think Hasbro, if they release that, this figure, 
um, we're going to get some sort of hybrid where it's going to have all the accessories of that MP28 plus the Target Master in a third color scheme that has never been seen before. And boy, my glasses look a little crooked. <laughs> Ooh, hey there. But yeah, uh, I that's what I really think Hasbro is going to do. So if you don't, if you already have the original version of Hot Rod and aren't really sold on the Target Master, then I think you'll be fine in skipping this. If you don't have a version of a hot, of hot Rod and the secondary market prices for that first figure are a little too expensive for you, then definitely um, look into this as an option to fulfill your Hot Rod desires. don't think that came out exactly right, but if you want to wait, you know, let's see what Hasbro's going to do um, with their Masterpiece line. Um, you know, right now, I think they're kind of focused on those movie masterpiece figures. So going forward, I don't know, um, uh, what they'll do, uh, in terms of the clat I shouldn't say classic, but the non-movie masterpiece figures, you know, the Beast War figures are out there now, but incidentally, um, after this... Um, there's really no talk of a new G1 non-beast uh, masterpiece figure on the horizon, so I'm eagerly anticipating an announcement of some sort. I know we have some teasers for a possible third version of Optimus Prime, but that'll probably be very far down the road, closer to next year, so I'm curious to see what else they have coming this year. Uh, but yeah, in a nutshell, uh, that was, uh, again... Uh, Target Master Hot Rodimus Hot Rod. I am sorry if I didn't give you a straight answer on whether or not uh, I can recommend it, but there's a lot of variables, and ultimately the decision's up to you. You're spending your own money. I'm not spending it for you. I'm just trying to give you as much information as I can to make the best decision that's for you. Once again, thank you for watching uh, Masterpiece Theater. Um, somewhere over here, maybe? Yeah, I think that'll be it. Uh, you should see a card that will link you to my original Hot Rod review if you'd like some uh, more information on the transformation. Um, other than that, thanks for watching. And I know there's been quite a few of uh, the Masterpiece Theaters in a row, but I think we'll be taking a little break for now. But my regular reviews will be continuing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.